back to part three of setting up a testing environment for PHP and VirtualBox. In the last episode, I showed you how to install the Ubuntu server into VirtualBox itself. But this time, we're going to be installing Nginx and also doing a few little tweaks to the server itself first. So first off, we need to know the internet address of our server. So we've got it all fired up and we should then just log in with our username and our password that we used and now we're logged in. To find the internet address of the server we can go IP ADDR show and we get two entries here and the first one is a loopback entry which we can ignore and the second one is our address which is 192.168.1.14 so that's the internet address that we will use to log in via SSH so with that done we can exit and turn that off now in the terminal we can well we can connect really many ways we can do it with using an SSH client like VSSH or PuTTY or we can use the terminal if we're in uh, Mac OS or we're in uh, a Linux environment if you're on Windows you have to install PuTTY for this so first of all in our terminal we can write SS H and then go Sean which is our username or use the username that you put in at 192.168.1.14 which is the internet address of our server press enter and here it says that we uh, need to accept the the hosts uh, security certificate so we say yes and we have to enter the password which is our user password that we put in and there we are we're in um, doing it this we can do it this way or we can use the SSH client which I'll show you here so I exit out of this and I can turn that off and I've got this configured up and in the host we put the 192.168.1.14 my username and our password uh, with this uh, we'll just log straight in without, use, without having to enter our password now we've got that all set up there so you save that and you connect and there we go straight in first thing we want to do is to make the internet address a user friendly one so we can use a sort of a domain name in our local server I thought of putting php-projects.local as our, inter our local internet address for this server so the first thing we have to do is change the host name and uh, so we have to go into sudo for this so we say sudo nano etc host name we have to enter our password and you can see there it's set as Sean we're going to change that to PHP dash projects and then control O to save and control X to exit that then we have to alter the host file too so we just get back that back by pressing the up key up arrow key and just change that to hosts and it's the second line that we want to change and it says Ubuntu but we want PHP dash projects and then we want the dot local version as well so PHP dash projects dot local now this will work on a on a Mac OS 
system and it will also work on a Linux system but if you're using Windows you will probably have to install Bonjour from Apple itself to make this work okay so we save that and exit next we have to install a piece of software called Avati Daemon so we go app get install Avahi Daemon and it's, you say yes to install all that and its dependencies once that's done we have to reboot the system and then we can log in using our php products.localhost instead of using the whole internet address but if you're using terminal it does make it a bit more user friendly so um, we can do that exit no nope, not exit we want to reboot so it's sudo reboot and we just have to wait for the server to reboot it's nearly done I have this in headless mode um, you can start it in headless mode it saves a bit of real estate so that's up so we can now change PHP projects here to take away the host name and we can go PHP dash projects dot local and that you save that and now we can log in and there we are that's that done the next thing we we'll want to do is to install our web server now our web server that we're using um, I had been using Apache for many many years but I've, in the last couple of years I've been using Nginx which has been absolutely fantastic it's lightning fast it works well with PHP and in my personal opinion I can f I find it easier to configure than what Apache ever was um, so what we have to do now is to install uh, that piece of software so we go sudo at get install engine x so next we have to put our password in and say yes to install that and all its dependencies now that's installed it should be running but we can certainly test that with um, sudo system ctl is active engine x and that will tell us if it's active or not and it is as you can see in the little corner there so in the web browser we can see the test page that nginx gives us it's the default page so we can say php dash projects dot local if you've not if you're not setting it up with the php dash products dot local you have to use the internet address so that's why I'm using it this way because it's easier for me to remember instead of long list numbers so you say enter and there we are it says welcome to nginx next we want to tell nginx where to find our files because we'll be having our files in uh, our home folder so it would be under home Sean or home whatever your username is and then it'd be in the public folder of that so we have to make that public folder so you go make our Oop, wrong window so you say make da public and that should give us a public folder which is there and then we can 
make a index HTML file to test out our configuration. So we say uh, we want to go nano uh, public dash index dot html and that should bring us into the editor and we can just write some html um, and welcome to my website and finish off the tag so with the h1 tag and save that with the control o and control x to finish so then we redo that it's not going to take us to that page because we have to now tell nginx where our files are so we have to alter a few configuration files so let's just um, make a new configuration file and all these sites that get activated in nginx will be under sites active uh, folder in the etc nginx folder so we can say sudo because we need to be in the administrator to do this uh, forward slash etc forward slash engine x forward slash sites enabled forward slash and we we'll just put I'll just put sean.conf here you can put whatever you want to put in there um, it doesn't matter what it's called but I generally call my my site configurations after what it's going to be we can we could actually call that PHP projects which would make more sense really dot conf because that is our um, server anyway that we want to be going to so into that and we've made a mistake because we haven't put nano um, don't forget to put your editor first which is either nano or vi so nano and there we go we're in again so we have to make a server block for this and because all sites configured by nginx are in what's called server blocks and they start with server and an open curly bracket and to close it we do a closed curly bracket so the first line should really be the root of where our files are kept so we go root and our files are kept in the home uh, Sean public folder so now nginx knows to look in that folder and it will look for files in that folder then serve them from there the next thing we want to say to nginx is basically what our server is called so we go server name and ours is php dash projects dot local and so now every time we put that into the url for in that it, when it request comes in to the server nginx will look at that and then deliver all the files in that particular directory and finish off with the semicolon and then we want to say to nginx what our default uh, index file will be so we say index uh, index dot html well this will then automatically without putting anything like um, forward slash HTML, uh, index html it will serve our index html instantly no problem um, otherwise we'll just get an error come back say can't find the file because it's not because it you won't be looking for anything and then we want last bit is we want a location block and we put forward slash open that up and this one here we want to say try files this will tell nginx to try whatever um, we're putting in first 
um, to then the URI if that matches the if that matches a file it will serve it if it can't match a file it will try and serve an empty directory with this one um, string URIL forward slash and that then will serve the index HTML file if there is one or if it can't find anything like that we say equals 404 which then gives it we then come back with a file not found uh, error so we finish that off and that's that configuration done so we save that file and we come out of there now we should be able to say sudo system ctl restart engine x and we should then theoretically uh, be able to see our index file come up when we reload the page but it's not and there's a reason for this because there's the default site all configured up you can look at that to see how to configure a default site but we don't really want it so we're going to delete the default site which is in the um, site enabled so you go sudo rm uh, which it means remove for, forward slash etc engine x forward slash sites enabled so I'm a bit slow today and default and that's all it is it's a sim link to the default in the sites available uh, folder so we say remove that file and then we should be able to uh, do this our system CTL restart nginx and reload our, our web server a web page and then we'll see our HTML file message come up so we reloaded that and press that and there we go welcome to my website so now we know nginx is serving from this directory that we've just set up in our home folder um, it's got all our user permissions it hasn't got root permissions and I believe that this way we get better security um, if you learn it this way then you would take it on uh, two server levels too so um, that's it for now um, the next one will be compiling PHP and getting what we want running on PHP and how to um, configure PHP to be served with Nginx so until next time Farewell and happy coding. Bye.